just a few minutes at Toledo. Time enough for securing today's papers from New York, or for a short turn up and down the platform, while still another corps of workers busy themselves at the sentry's never stopping inspection. Then, once more, the sentry rolls on. Experience has taught the guests of the century to look forward with zest to the dining hour. The very appearance of one table is stimulating. Selections are made. Glasses raised for gracious toast. Professional service by professional, trained in the serving of fine food. Appetite teasing delicacies top off the famous century dinner. As soft lights glow, comes the fall of night. Some indulge in their own forms of diversion. While for others, retiring time arrives. Fresh, clean, and invite repose. In drawing rooms, compartments, individual bedrooms, and spacious berths, refreshing rest is assured on the sentry. Asleep or awake, Sentry travelers revel in the freshness of pure filtered air. In every car, day or night, winter or summer. Ideal traveling comfort for the 20th century is air conditioned from end to end. before the midnight hour, the eternal vigilance of waiting men again inspect at countless posts, while signal lights and every known trackside safety device stand further guard, here as everywhere along the route, including the exclusive automatic stop, which outdoes even human factors of safe operation. And here it is that two sentries pass in the night. One bound eastward. And the other leading from the Atlantic to Chicago. Here, the New England and Boston section leads the New York Central Line. proceeds up the main line of the Boston and Albany toward its destination. The New York section turns down for its final run along the course of the broad flowing Hudson, famed in history and literary fable. A glimpse of West Point Majestic on the opposite shore, cradle of our army's commissioned staff, nestled high above the river that rolls down to the sea. Framing vistas of supreme beauty in our windows, as we arise and prepare in comfort and ease 
for the occupations of the day. Entering the Park Avenue Tunnel, an open, airy, spacious passage to the northern part of the city. While above us, mighty monarchs of architecture tower to the clouds, and streets pulse with a surge of a new day's task. cathedral-like spaces of the terminal itself, robbing heart of the nation's metropolis. We have arrived, the way of way, New York by way of the 20th century limits. 